Greetings, this is uh, Editor Alex coming to you guys before Carburetor steps in to take over. This is, I'm making this notice uh, after all the editing is done and I was ready to export this when I was listening to the video and I kept hearing what sounded like static in the background and I realized that it is in fact the fireworks from the current dock in game. Carburetor thought this would sound a lot better in the video. He thought it might be kind of cool. Unfortunately, after rendering and after YouTube and everything else like that probably gets their hands on it, it's just going to sound like really bad static. Needless to say, I want to apologize ahead of time. Now, on to the video. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be taking a preliminary look at the Dockyard event. But I just want to say that uh, if you guys are going to be putting a little bit of money towards this game, I would highly recommend that you do it right now. Now what do I mean about that? So we have, I need to try and find it, the Battle Pass going on right now. That's something that's been around for a while. If you want, you can go through and read this. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend upgrading your battle pass for the Snowflake event. Now, why is that? So this is actually something I learned from buying the battle pass last time. And I do not think I'm going to be buying a premium battle pass going forward in the future. However, I would recommend buying it during big events such as the snowflakes events such as the anniversary events and if they come if they bring it back the christmas and july events now why is that so if you upgrade your pass to the full level which i'm going to do right now you get a plus five percent to your coal steel and research points now if you are a newcomer to this game that is a pretty big deal. You really want to get those uh, those rewards. On top of that, it gets you so much more rewards. Um, later on, after I completed all this, after I completed all the weekly events and whatnot, I was getting three containers plus a thousand uh, coal every single day, pretty much every ten. Uh, battle pass points. After you complete the fifty stages of your battle pass, you get. Three containers, I don't remember what they are, I think they're signals, uh, economic bonuses, and I think one more. I, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping right now on what it is, but it, it comes with a lot of bonuses. In my opinion, this is worth the buy only during these events. During normal events, I would say no, or during normal operations, I'd say no, but if you are going to do it, I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing it for this. You don't have to you don't have to take my word for it. I trust you guys to do your own research and to be competent people. I am merely a an advocate. I am not the only advocate. I'm not the only person. But let's head over to the dockyard. So I am not I've I've heard very bad reviews so far on the Admiral Schroeder. Um I've I've I'm tapped into a couple of YouTube channels who have CC status, community contributor status. And this is kind of the secondary ship that they've promised us, but they won't deliver. Now, one thing I will say is that one thing I love about ships in this game is it shows you the um, the ships of a nation. So if you look at the Alaska, it literally looks like a miniature version of an Iowa. And even the Des Moines looks like a miniature version of an Alaska. That is very reminiscent of the Iowa. And the thing, same can, thing can be said about the Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico looks like a looks very reminiscent of the Montana. You can see that the Yoshino looks very reminiscent of the Montana. You can kind of get a feel after a little while on what ships belong where, and the Admiral Schroeder screams the uh, German battle cruisers to me. It just it it. If you told me this was an actual German battle cruiser that was made. I would believe it. Now, I don't think it was. I think this is a fake ship that they've come out with. But anyway, I'm getting off topic there. I would not recommend doing this event for this ship. This ship, think of it like a uh, like a bonus. Think of it like, hey, I'm going to have a ship. Nobody else is going to have this ship. At some point, 
this ship might be in the meta in a like in a brawl event or something like that where this ship dominates i would ne- i do not take the sharn horse out into random battles the sharn horse is not a great ship in random battles in my opinion if you do well in it congratulations you probably do well in other ships i do well in it in randoms but i don't do as well in it in as i do in brawls in brawls and in ranked it is a dominate ship it is very very good same thing can be said about this. This might be a ship that is very advantageous in certain circumstances. So I'd recommend picking up for that reason if you want it. But that's not the main reason. So if we go into the dockyard here, we scroll all the way over. We see that you get coal, you get research points, and you get steel. Sorry, I don't know why I went backwards there. But you get these three main resources. That's what you get if you buy the starter pack, is you definitely get these resources. But what are these resources valued at? This is where uh, this is where Editor Alex is going to show you guys just what this is all about. Now, I'm switching over to look at it on my other screen. But I'm going to leave the dockyard running in the background for this. What is coal worth? If we can figure out what coal is worth, we can determine whether or not this is worth it. So at the top is the latest ship, the Trump. It's available for 238,000 coal right now, which I would definitely recommend getting it for coal. I would not spill the doubloons for it. And you can see that you can also buy it for 34,950 doubloons. However, if you go down to the Awami right below it, 228,000 coal to 19,300 doubloons. From this, we can determine that from these two rates, 6.81 uh, coal per doubloon for the Trump, 11.81 for the Awami. This kind of helps to determine what is coal worth. Now, I'm pulling from many ships as I currently have access to. I realize that there are some coal ships that are no longer in game that I can't compare to. I realize there are some, you know, special events where you can get a coal ship for doubloons. I realize that kind of the tromp is that right now, but that's just from this perspective, from this snapshot on reality, you can see that 10.53 uh, coal is worth one doubloon. That's that's 10.53 Coal equals one doubloon. I don't know why I'm typing it onto my spreadsheet because you guys won't see it. <laughs> so from there, we can determine what the doubloons are or what the coal is worth in game. So just this coal, this 10,000 coal, and that's not including the extra coal that you might get if you're running that premium battle pass like I am, or if you're running uh, with a clan, just that coal is worth, so if we go 10,000 divided by 10.53, just that coal is worth 900. And I'm actually going to put this in the spreadsheet, but I'm going to have it off to the side right here. So 10,000 divided by 10.53 equals, uh, I shouldn't be doing this while I'm talking to you guys. But just the coal alone is worth 949.67 doubloons. So just right there, you are getting almost a thousand doubloons in coal. Now, that's not the only thing you're getting, though. You're also getting steel. You are getting 2,000 steel, which is roughly equivalent to 20,000 coal. I would actually value it a lot higher. I would definitely, definitely say that the coal is worth... <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. It, that the steel is worth a higher amount. But even so, if you take the 20,000 equivalent coal divided by 10.53... Get, and I'm actually going to try and do this in my head just to show off. You get 18, 90, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up. I'm going to give up. What's 20,000 divided by 
five three. I tried doing it in my head, and I'm it's way too late. I am really really tired. You get eighteen hundred ninety nine point three three doubloons. One eight nine nine point three three doubloons. So essentially, you are getting dang near three thousand doubloons just in the coal and the steel of it. And I would actually say steel's probably more. So I would actually value the steel at probably closer to three thousand doubloons. Now, if we go and look at the starter packs going back in the game, you can see you can buy ten phases for ten thousand doubloons, or you can buy four phases for five thousand doubloons, or after this starter pack sale is over, you can buy a phase for seventeen fifty doubloons. So you are getting, let's just say for for ease of simplicity, you are getting three thousand doubloons worth of just coal and steel. That does not give a very high markup to steel. You are only paying 2,000 doubloons for a tier 9 premium ship. I don't care if that premium ship is garbage. That is still one heck of a deal. That is one heck of a deal. And for that reason, actually, I'm going to go ahead and buy the 10,000, the 10 phase doubloon, but that's also because I'm farming steel at the end. That's another thing. So you can farm the steel at the end. For every additional phase you complete, you get. 250 steel i would not recommend farming it that way that's incredibly inefficient but i'm also hoping to get the uh, admiral schroeder a little bit earlier than expected and i also want the renowned 44 right here so let's go ahead collect these rewards and then just for kicks let's go into port and open them just so we can see what we got i know we got some camouflage and so we got some uh Elite Commander XP, I did see we got some coal there. I probably should have seen exactly what we got. Let's let's go back and see what we got. I I shouldn't have jumped the gun like that. So Sky Camouflage, Commander XP, Coal. Coal's definitely that's the whole reason I'm doing this. Santa's gift container, so that's nice to get that early. Uh day of premium, doesn't really matter for me. Free XP, that's always important. More camouflage, big gift container, the special bonuses containers. And then more premium counter. Don't really need that. So let's head in. Let's see if we get anything good in these early access containers. Yes, I'm going to call them that because they aren't out yet. I will be doing a video when they do come out. I'm kind of glad. I did also buy the Tromp. So I'm going to go out and say that. So let's go ahead. Let's open these three first. So I'm just going to open them separately. This is the mid-stage container. 60,000 Commander XP. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good pull right there. Let's open the other one. 20,000 Commander XP. I don't know what the uh, stats are. I will be doing a whole video on that. But I wanted to just go through this. Touch on what the value of coal is. I will be doing another video to touching on which ships I would recommend you buy for, um, for coal. Versus which ones you should buy for maybe doubloons. This is if you want to spend doubloons. I'm not saying you should spend doubloons. I'm not saying that if you choose to, I, I, I say I advocate investing in your hobby. That's what I'm going to say. I advocate investing in your hobby. If this is therapeutic for you, like it is for me, that is very important. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this rather quick look at the dockyard event and everything that's coming up they are going to be milking the doubloons especially out of me this go around they are going to be pulling out this is kind of their actual black friday event the black friday is a black friday event but i'm going to call this the black friday event because this is kind of like their last chance to try and get into the black get out of the red for their time of year uh, so anyway, take care, stay safe, enjoy the holiday season, Merry Christmas, and I hope to see you guys again in a very short while.